Okay guys, we are back at remodeling. Well, we're not really remodeling. We're, we're cementing the driveway. So in this video, you're gonna see a lot of the continuation of the guys getting here to work on the driveway out front. And we're gonna actually talk about a possibility of cementing back here by the barn too. So let's get into this video. Well, they arrived and they are starting to move the gravel, the dirt, whatever you want to call this crap. Yeah, I got like six dogs. Everybody's got to chime in. It's going to start taking that gravel back towards the barn dominium where Tashima lives. But anyways, they got to dig down four inches. We are starting. Digging her up. Get all this ugly gravel out of here. Give me some good old concrete. Yeah. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. He said we might be pouring concrete right here as soon as Monday. Maybe Tuesday. But he's hoping maybe Monday. We'll see. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I've envisioned this being concrete since the day we bought this house. I do not like this rock, but it has had to wait till the very end because of all the construction we've done through this house. So whatever we're gonna continue to do now, we'll just wait until this driveway is done because I am excited, excited. And it's gonna be wider. Yes, 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 yes. This is the man in charge right there. Wow, look what happens in just one day. <laughs> God, Lord, you guys are just taking off and sprouting like crazy. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. My watermelon's not doing a damn thing. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm cool. You guys are gonna be ready to plant in another week. So, They've gotten all of the gravel and everything out of here. So this is about ready to have rebar laid in it. They're moving the last of the pile right there. And then they've got to work on taking that gravel out, which I don't know if they're gonna get that done today or if they're gonna work on laying rebar instead because he wants to lay this cement Monday and tomorrow's Sunday. So I think if I had to guess, I would guess they're about ready to lay rebar right here before the rain hits. I have a nice vantage point up here. This is what's going to get poured on Monday. And then they will continue to take all of this gravel out next week and get that poured. So hopefully a week from tonight, which is Saturday night, this will all be done. Yay! Now they are laying the rebar. So you clearly say that they are laying rebar. Yay! Oh my God, this is gonna be so great. Come Monday morning, we're laying cement. This is awesome. So they are currently laying the rebar in this whole section. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so excited. You guys, the, uh, this, 
I don't know. I don't know when I've been this excited. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, sometimes when I buy bags and shoes and clothes, I get excited. But, oh, this is so exciting. I am so excited. Yes, yes, yes. So, he is actually trying to spread some of this rock that was brought from the front driveway. He's trying to spread it back here so that we can have more rock back here and not so much mud. So, good job, dude. Good job. Good job. Get rid of the mud. I don't know how much of this is dirt, how much of it's rock, but it's got to be better than the crap that was here, which was hardly nothing. It's probably a combination of dirt and rock, but... Anyways, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 you guys killed it. Oh my God. This stuff went live Friday at 6 p.m. And I think by 8, 8.30 we were sold out. <laughs> You guys killed it, killed it, killed it, killed it. I, I mean, like, I don't know. Like, I, it was flying. It was flying. You guys are so amazing. So um, now I have the fun job of getting all this packaged up because it literally has to go out tomorrow. <laughs> and then tomorrow, which is Monday, um, we've got cement being poured. And so it's, it's just crazy, crazy, crazy. I, so I'm just trying to fit everything in. My daughter just got back from Wyoming. You know, she was gone to Wyoming for a week uh, because her grandma and grandpa passed away back in December and January, three weeks apart. So they had celebrations of life uh, while she had her kids out on spring break. So just got back from the airport. What a zoo, I swear to God. Everybody went somewhere for spring break and they're all coming back tonight. Good God, it was a zoo, it was a zoo. Anyways, that took longer than I expected, but should have called a maneuver, right? <laughs> um, so, I am going to get busy and start packing all of this up. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Let's get going. So, I literally have my little setup here. <laughs> so, I've got my bags. I've got my little thank you for shopping in Teresa Romer's closet. I've got my scissors, my tape, everything. And so, literally... Um, lots and lots and lots and lots of sales. Literally, I have wrote down on each sheet uh, what the person bought. So all I have to do is grab, so it's gonna kind of go like this, the faux fur vest. So here it is. So we basically take it off the, I'm trying to figure out where to put, maybe I'll just put them over here. So take it off the rack. Take it off the hanger, then we fold it really, really super nice. Boom, boom, boom. Since I know what's going in here, I then take the piece of paper, it's a one-man show here, and I cut out the packing slip that Poshmark provides, if you've never done with Poshmark. And it's the black bow vest. I'm put that up there, get these kind of out of the way. Okay, so I know that's what goes in this bag. So we're doing the smaller bags down here. So we're gonna take this bag, we're gonna flip it over. I know y'all have known how to pack a bag, right? But I'm just showing you. So I put it on here, I get my packing tape. Boom, boom. Get it taped down good. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, it's so fun to see where my clothes go because I've got a lot of regulars that buy all the time. This person buys all the time. So, it's so cute. When I see some of my regulars pop up. And it's funny because so many people are like, oh my God, 
I didn't get to watch the video until this time and you were already sold out. You need to give us a heads up. You need to let us shop first or whatever. I was like, please. Everybody wants to shop first. Everybody wants to shop first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry. Can't can't please everybody. So anyways. And I think I just forgot to stick my little thank you card in there. Oh my gosh, I'm busy talking to you guys. Anyways, then I take and I seal it up again. Really good down here. I don't want it to get ripped open or anything. So basically, it is like that. Wendy shops for me all the time. I'm not going to say her last name, but she shops for me all the time. And then I start the pile right here. So that's how it goes. Boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, boom, boom. So blue denim jacket. So boom, boom, take it off. Hanger goes up. And it's funny, guys, because people will be like, oh, my God, I got um, the item in the mail, whatever, and um, I wish she wouldn't spray perfume on it or I wish whatever. Okay, first of all, y'all know that I have this special scent that gets distributed through my house. Um, I pay dearly for it. So if you happen to get any of my clothing, jacket. if you happen to get any of my clothing and it has a scent to it, it is not because I have put perfume on the clothes because people are like, why doesn't she wash the clothes before she sends them to us? I don't want that perfume smell on there. Okay, well, first of all, all of my clothes are, are, are either washed or dry cleaned. Second of all, like I said, I have that specific scent piped through my house. And so that particular smell also, that scent I should say, uh, gets piped into my closet. So if you happen to receive clothing from me and it has a particular scent to it, it's because that's what my whole house smells like. I am not going to especially wash something before I send it to somebody. So I guess if you're a little upset that you're clothing. I mean, how many of you have ever gone shopping in a department store like Neiman's or Saks and they have that aroma piped through their vent system and you get your clothes from the store and you open the bag and the clothes have a certain scent to them. Are you gonna get mad at Neiman's and go, I don't know why you didn't wash or dry clean my outfit before you bagged it up. It smells like the store, it smells like something. Uh, yeah, what, yeah. Yeah, look at that, this person, is the same person, she bought two things. <laughs> That's what I love about some of you guys, is you go and you, instead of like putting stuff in a cart or putting whatever, you are afraid it's gonna get snatched up so fast that you literally see it, want it, buy it. And then you go and you find something else and you buy that. And then you go and you find something else and you buy that. And so before you know it, you've purchased like three or four things, but they're not in one bag. So you've paid, but I mean like, so be it, you know? I mean like, I would do the same thing. If I was afraid people are gonna snatch stuff up, I'd be, out, I'd, be, I'd be doing the same thing. But it's funny because sometimes I'll have three or four packages going to the same person out of the, out of the bus. So it's kind of funny, but that's what people do. And then there's people that are mad because they didn't get in here in time to get the sale. They were already sold out before some of you got to even go shopping. I'm so sorry. Oh, the Lori, the, oh, the Laura Moshi pants. Oh my God. Oh, I love these pants. I, you know, I have so many of her uh, outfits. I just love them. Oh, this is a new shopper. I've never seen this name come across on any of the bags that I do. 
I, I really do pay attention to the bags, to the names, because I like to see if I've got repeat, repeat customers that come back and shop time after time after time. So this was the Lauren Moshi sweatpants. So where are they? Where are they? So cute. Love, love, love. So anyways, this is what I'm going to be doing for about the next hour or so because all of this has to be going out tomorrow and I'm going to be fighting cement trucks to get in and out of my driveway, which you guys are going to see here shortly on this video. So anyways, just wanted to let you see me doing my little system here that I do. Uh, I have my own little system. I know I could be letting other people do this for me, but I like it. I really do. It's almost like I get to say goodbye to my outfits, to my clothes. It's my little farewell. <laughs> oh, the glitter boots. Some of you were like, oh my God, whoever got these boots are gonna just be so excited and happy. What a steal. Yeah, tell me about it. Some of this stuff, I think I actually sold too cheap. I really do. I do. I think I sold them too cheap to you guys. But that's okay. I love you guys. I want to give you guys all a good deal. Isn't it fun to get a good deal? Hell yes. Hell yes. I don't care who you are. I don't care how much money you got. It's always fun to get a good deal. Glitter boots. Okay. We're going to be sticking them. Let's stick this tag on first. Do, 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 do. Everybody likes a good deal. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how much money you don't got. Everybody likes a good deal. My little puppy dogs are coming in. They're like, Mom, where are you? Like I said, I'm going to be in here for at least the next hour. Sacking all of this up. Getting ready to dump it all at the post office tomorrow for you guys. And if you're anything like me, I love waiting for a package. I mean, like, I, I, I have so much anticipation. Like, when I know something's coming, I'm like, oh, where is it, where is it? I want it now, I want, I want, you know. So, I know some of you are gonna be so excited to be getting your stuff, so I wanna get it out immediately so that you can have it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank you for shopping, Teresa's Closet. Boom, boom, boom. So, anyways, let's get on with the rest of this video because we got cement guys working out on that driveway. We got all kinds of stuff going on. So, let's get after it. The next day. I got here early this morning. They are getting ready to build a new front step, much bigger. Much bigger. Monday. Nice. Okay, getting ready for that same truck. Okay, the cement trucks are stacking up. We got the first one coming in the driveway. The second one setting out in the street waiting. We've got scheduled today, but we'll see. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And these guys are making my new front step. So we're gonna have a whole new front step. Yay, yay, yay. So excited. Much bigger front step now. This is gonna be nice. Much nicer, much nicer. Okay, see how much landscaping gets 
has messed up with these cement trucks today. <laughs> start building the building the uh, step first. There it comes. Say the first 
four rows are on ground. Okay. And then we elevate this. So from there to there, it's probably another. Clear down here. And when I do the layout up too, high, but they're still going to see everything that's going on over the pool. Because mm -hmm. if you're clear down here, let's just say mm -hmm. they're going to see this fantasticness. Mm -hmm. But they're, they're still going to be able to see that as long as it's high. You know what we could also do too? We could stack this like a little bit higher than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, because it would be 18 inches. So maybe we stack the last half six inches higher at, the, at a true two foot. So that they're even higher. Mm -hmm. So that they're looking over even the people on the back. Okay. Back so here. remember last year we angled everybody. Mm-hmm. But it was only half the tent. Mm -hmm. I think you can still do the same if we do the four foot wide. But I'm just saying because. But these people, well, so that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to figure out how I can still. With, uh, what's the crawler of the, uh, the pool? Uh, she does it. She yeah. handles it. She does a runway. Is it clay, acrylic or what no, is it? No, it's, it's wood. It's wood. It's wood, and then it's covered in the same tint. The vinyl. She, vinyl. We, we sold her okay. the vinyl which they kept. Do you, okay. do you ever try to put a, a structure there? Gable this way? Which way? No. Uh, 82? It doesn't feed? We've never done it like that. I mean, what? I mean, that doesn't mean that it can be done. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. Yeah. How would the anchors affect? That's what I'm asking about the floor. Uh, we can use concrete blocks. Okay. I mean, we have a structures that are bigger. Right. Right? Right. So you worry well, about... I'm in love with that new structure you have. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a little too, it's a little too big for here. Yeah. <laughs> but that one runs that way, right? Uh-huh. You want to be able to go this way, right? Well. You prefer to have roll. that. Yeah, because then it would like make it look All like right, it's let's so then, see we can do that you want the paper you want the room okay <laughs> the only now we'll say the 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 part with that so <clears throat> when we go that direction the leg i don't have to have any legs in the middle yeah right but the legs will be on the perimeter you want me to grab that eddie um so, up so against Eddie's the house, your, he's our managing partner okay what Oh, so, yeah, I look like shit today, don't I? <laughs> I'm out there trying to film uh, cement, and now we're back here filming the new layout for the tent. Because now we've got a whole different scene going on. Ah, so, I had, I have, guys, I haven't even had time to shower, get cleaned up, get ready. So I'm trying to figure out if I do... So it'd be 18 times... Two. Yeah, 36, roughly, somewhere in that ballpark. Yeah, like 40. Uh -huh. What? Like 40. 40 chairs mm -hmm. per row? row? More or less. With walkways? I think so. Yeah, you, you do four footers, so you live. You, you, the, the chair is going to be up against the, the pier behind. Mm -hmm. You've got two foot on the front. Yeah, she, and she, but she's not like in the middle. You know what I mean? And I have to have walkways. Yeah. I, would do, I would do two walkways. Yeah, if you did two walkways, you, you will be around. So let's do 40. Oh, so, okay, so 40 times 7. Because we're doing seven rows, right? Mm -hmm. Well, in the back rows, 
pull you out because they'll have walkways too. 40, okay, so what's that? 280? 280. What we're trying to figure out this year, Sophie, is the the theme is, do I dare say on camera? <laughs> the theme this year is different <laughs> than the last couple of years. And so I'm trying to decide this year because of the theme, whether we have sides or if we only have sides just on that back. Just on, because are people parking back there? Yes, because we're still gonna have parking back there. So maybe that's the only side that mm -hmm. we have those sides because that'll be where our main decor is gonna be. Okay. Or maybe one side right here. So you don't see the tent. Well, we can all, yeah. I mean, we could also wall, put a wall on that tent. Once again, depends on weather because they got really hot last year mm -hmm. with all the damn sides up. And so I might just leave this open with all the twinkle lights and no wall. Hey, like I said, it's gonna just depend on temperature again. Cause it's November 2nd. Cause I wouldn't mind being able to have some openness, like not so closed in yeah, because it's a totally different theme this year. Yeah. Last year we needed all the backdrops, all the walls because we had all that Christmas decor. But this year's, it's not Christmas whatsoever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't reveal yet. <laughs> you can whisper it to me in yeah, a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so 280 here. And then I think we did two rows of 60, I think over there. So 280 and 60 is now three. Okay, and then of course we've got our rows here. Four, eight, ten, twelve, sixteen. I think we put sixteen there. We don't put, we have like four, eight, twelve there. So sixteen more, twelve more. Three, sixty-eight. And then we've got ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. 50 over there. So we're going to try like no, again. This will be 500 this year. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's coming along. Coming along. We're waiting on cement trucks. Side done. Looking good. And then they got to get that machine that sits there and swirls and swirls and swirls on top of the cement and makes it all nice and smooth and pretty. Yeah. Yeah, here he comes. It's going to swirl and make it pretty. Nice and flat and even. Oh, 